popcorn. If you're looking to lose weight, this might not be the best thing for your wellness goals, especially to have every day. And I'm going to be breaking that down for you guys in today's video. All right, guys, if you're new to my channel and you don't know who I am, my name's Autumn and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition and human performance. On my channel, I'm typically talking about the science-backed information on how you can feel amazing again. And part of that is making sure that some foods aren't actually really holding you back from achieving your wellness goals. Now, this one took me a while to come to terms with. I love popcorn. It's something that I used to have all the time. I grew up with my mom always making us freshly pop popcorn. My boyfriend loves popcorn. If he could, he'd have it at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He's obsessed. But as I've found with my clients, with my studies, it's not something that's fantastic for achieving your wellness goals. Okay, so let's jump into the two main reasons for why you shouldn't be having popcorn every day if you're looking to achieve some type of weight loss goal. Number one, it's extremely high in starches. Now, although some amount of starch is really great for sleep, as we've talked about with the hormone balancing series and in the complete intermittent fasting bundle guidelines, a serving of popcorn, so let's say about four cups of pop popcorn, has roughly double the amount of starch as a full-size sweet potato. And what I find super interesting about this is that a lot of the different brands that make the bagged popcorn will often say that a serving size of popcorn is one cup and those are the nutrition facts they'll give you for it. Nobody eats just one cup. I'm sorry. No one eats one cup of popcorn when you're eating popcorn. I was trying to look into the research on this to see how many cups of popcorn is, you know, more of a typical type of serving size. And if you look on a lot of nutrition databases, they'll try and say one cup. But then when I was looking on more of like actual consumption data, it was saying more like four to six cups which brings in a lot of starches. Through my research, I found one company, I think it's Lesser Evil Buddha Bowl, I think, popcorn. And it was at least a little bit closer to the truth on saying that it was a three cup serving size. But what I found really funny about it is that it's also super deceiving because although it says on the nutrition facts label, a serving size is three cups and its nutrition facts are on it like that, the front side of the bag advertises it at 38 calories per cup. So not even advertising it at the actual serving size it really is. And having a lot of starches can really cause more of that spike in fall in blood glucose, which initiates insulin, more of the storing hormone, which as we know is going to make it effective at really shutting off fat burning. And although popcorn does have some amount of fiber, it's really not that much considering how much starch is really in it. And if we're all honest with ourselves, myself included, no one is eating one cup of popcorn. That's like just what you eat with one handful. <laughs> and from what I've seen with working with clients, this is a type of snack that so many people are having every single day. So it's not even just like, you know, having once a week popcorn that you're having at a movie night. Instead, it's become something because of all of these skinny pop or little lesser evil Buddha bowl popcorn, it's becoming more of a staple snack in between meals or after dinner, something consistently to have. And that consistency of having this high higher amount of starch that's going to cause that spike in insulin is what's going to shut off the fat burning on a daily basis. And the second reason is popcorn causes a lot of bloating. Now there's a couple reasons for why this happens. The first being that roughly 92% of the corn in all of the US is a GMO product. And the GMO foods have been linked to IBS, IBD, increased stomach inflammation. Not only will there be more of that increased inflammation within the gut, but there's also going to be the fact that if you're treating it like a snack, it's still a snack. And as we know, the snacking between meals is what causes your MMC pathway to shut off, which allows for that left behind food and bacteria to ferment that food coming through and lead to bloating. And going back to the first reason, if you are having popcorn as a snack between meals, that means you're also going to be getting a release of insulin between meals, which again is going to shut off fat burning. So through these different mechanisms, popcorn, especially eaten on a consistent basis, is going to have increased bloating and increased fat storage as a result. Now, should you never have popcorn? I I personally love popcorn. Insert Oprah meme of her saying, I love bread. <laughs> But seriously, it's something that I have grown up with. I love it so much. And I don't think you should ever fully get rid of something that you truly love. That doesn't make sense for happiness or even long-term health. Rather, it may be best to just view popcorn as one of those more type of treat meals. So we've talked about how treat meals can actually be really beneficial for helping you to maintain your goals long-term. So having that once a week popcorn that you make for movie night actually could be helpful. And this is a much better way to go about it rather than relying on popcorn as a snack that's going to constantly increase your insulin and work against your wellness goals. Now, if you guys are looking for dessert that you can have after your meal that actually won't work against your goals, highly recommend that you check out this video next. Also, if you love the science-backed information and you wanna join the AM peeps, make sure you subscribe right here. Come on with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday so that you can feel amazing again. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.